morning, everyone. Welcome to the 2023 Telehealth Summit brought to you by the California Telehealth Resource Center. We're glad you could join us today for today's session, Listening to Consumers, Telehealth Experiences of Californians. I'm Jennifer Stoll. I'm the Executive Vice President of External Affairs for OCHIN and the California Telehealth Network and the Telehealth Resource Center. And I'll be introducing the next session today. If you go to the next slide. Before we start, um, we wanted to share a little bit of more with you about the California Telehealth Resource Center. We have been federally funded in California since 2006, helping all California providers and patients and communities access and get the most from telehealth and virtual care throughout the state. We provide on-demand services, resources, and insights to be able to help better support your work. The TRC is your solution for telehealth training and infrastructure. I also want to point out the incredible work of the California Telehealth Network, which began in 2007 as a, as when a coalition of California healthcare technology and governmental agencies collaborated to maximize federal communications commissions, the FCC's funding to access broadband services throughout rural and underserved California. It's a statewide broadband network dedicated to expanding healthcare access in rural and medically underserved communities. And the goal is to improve clinical outcomes and reduce cost. Um, the California Telehealth Network is a leading consortia um, that is all about access to healthcare through innovative use of technology, which includes telehealth, tele telemedicine, and health information exchange, which is a very timely topic in California. The Telehealth Resource Center is housed within the Telehealth Network. And on in May 2017, CTN and to the TRC became part of the OCHIN family organizations. OCHIN is a not-for-profit. We are a healthcare innovation center designed to provide knowledge solutions that promote quality, affordable healthcare. Um, and um, we are very, very proud to have them as part of the uh, TRC, uh, uh, part of the OCHIN family. So, so this is the telehealth, the California Telehealth Resource uh, Center team led by Kim Kleppinger, who's the president of the Telehealth Resource Center. And today you're going to be um, participating um, and meeting many of the amazing staff at the Telehealth Resource Center, um, including Lillian Gutierrez, Shuba, Aislin, and Mariah. Next slide. I don't think everyone on this call needs to be shared with why telehealth and virtual care is so important from the continuum of healthcare delivery from patients, communities, primary care providers, specialists, and health plans. But in case that uh, you are unfamiliar with telehealth and this is the first time you're being exposed to it, it's a very, very powerful tool um, to be able to deliver care to communities all across the state of California. Um, especially in the most underserved communities. So we're very proud to be part of this community. Next slide, please. And the beauty of telehealth is that it's here to stay. The state of California has advanced policies to make sure that payment continues even post the pu public health emergency. But telehealth, as you know, rapidly expanded during the pandemic, the COVID-19 pandemic and was able to actually increase access to a variety of clinical services that have not historically been virtual care friendly. We were innovating on the fly and it's really incredible work done by all the healthcare community throughout the state of California during the pandemic. Many of the waivers even after the PHE ended are still available until the end of 2024 as well as in the state of California, as I mentioned, the um, in Medi-Cal policy and commercial policies have allowed for payment to continue as we move forward, um, even after the public health emergency. And now that the telehealth has been utilized, patients and physicians don't want to go backwards. They want to continue to have access to virtual care and be able to provide services either telephonically or versus in telemedicine to be able to reach their communities and their patients, um, and patients prefer it. And we continue to see uh, strong evidence of the need to continue to have access to telehealth, which is very exciting. So next slide, please. 
All right. So you're, you're going to hear uh, throughout the next two days at the conference that there are some barriers um, to telehealth, and there are resources also available through the TRC to support from broadband access to operational clinical support and program sustainability. We are here to support you at the CTRC. Again, we are your federally funded support network in California to help really drive access to virtual care and telehealth services um, and be able to maximize those programs for stability, sustainability, and patient care. Um, a little bit about the CTRC's continued impact. The CTRC actually improved access to care to 30% more people this year from previous years, which is something we are extremely proud of. Um, we have served over 16,000 individuals since 2019, created numerous informational opportunities and educational opportunities through webinars and blogs, newsletters, guides, and courses. We've provided over 1,700 hours of technical assistance and training since 2020. And we've seen a continued demand um, of sustained increase for telehealth. And as we move into alternative payment models, and as we align our businesses to uh, drive CalAIM and improve state goals, we will continue to see virtual care as a complete, uh, as, a, as an important item in moving into new payment models and thinking about continuing to drive access in, uh, uh, to care uh, with new payment models. So next slide, please. Okay, and again, a little bit about how they can, how the Telehealth Resource Center can support you as a California provider is through access to evidence-based practices, leading edge solutions um, to really understand and pivot to the needs of um, your patient population, as well as the needs of the state to be able to drive additional care. We can support your telehealth journey through a variety of services from technical assistance to training to on-demand on library. Um, we can help you with planning and getting reimbursement guidance, uh, patient assistance programs, and so much more. So please don't hesitate to reach out to us if we can ever be of support uh, at, to you and, and service to you. And here's a list of examples of uh, resources the Telehealth Resource Center can provide. Again, uh, a library of telehealth tools and resources. Um, and so please don't hesitate to reach out to us if we can be in service. And again, here's how to get in touch with us at the Telehealth Resource Center. If you're starting or expanding or considering a telehealth program, call us, we'd love to be of service. Uh, and so we will uh, put this slide up several times during the next two days. Um, and we encourage you to reach out um, if, if we can be helpful. All right. Um, we are thrilled that you can join us for the Telehealth Resource Center's annual conference. We have a jam-packed and very, very exciting conference for you over the next two days. We have some amazing speakers that will provide insights, guidance, and learnings that um, you will be able to take into your into your operations, into your practices, and really improve access to virtual care and new thinking. We're also gonna challenge you on um, what is the future of telehealth? How do you continue to adapt and innovate to make sure your, your patients have access um, to the care that they need? And also how to empower consumers. Um, so today's session is purely for informational purposes um, and a little bit of a disclaimer. Um, what you can expect to learn is um, as we adapt and evolve, we built a really incredible agenda that highlights the trends and advancements and predictions in our industry. We're gonna, you're going to be able to learn from consumers and experts, and we highly encourage you to be engaged. Please come off and, and, and uh, mute and add, ask questions, enter questions in the chat, and we want this to be interactive and a wonderful learning experience for you. Telehealth topics also have, um, that will also be included, include culturally competent and equitable care. How do we drive equity using virtual care platforms? How do we increase access? Um, uh, please uh, increase uh, rural healthcare utilization and increase access to our rural communities. Virtual prescribing, how do we expand access to school-based care? innovative technology, and a whole lot more. So again, we really appreciate you being with us and spending time 
Um, and uh, we want to thank, again, all of our sponsors, uh, incredible sponsors. We can't do this without you. Uh, from the American Heart Association, Foley and Lardner, LLP, uh, Akenta Health, the California Healthcare Foundation and Ocean. So thank you all for your, your sponsorship. And um, again, we can't do this without you. So thank you, thank you.